four ripe bananas and I want to smash them really good at the bottom of our bowl. And maybe you know where I'm going with this. Have you ever woke up just craving banana bread or banana muffins? Well, that's what this morning led me to this recipe. And I thought I'd share it with you. It's so easy. It's gonna be a quick go-to banana muffin. I'm gonna take two eggs and I'm gonna crack that right in. This is a one bowl, my second egg, one bowl breakfast muffin. I guess you could use it for breakfast. That's what I'm using it for today. And get that nice in there, creamy. Just blend that together, mush it all around. Half a cup of canola oil. And it's what I had on hand. You can use, I guess, any kind of oil you'd like. That's what I had in my pantry. And again, I'm gonna smush that in, get it nice and creamy. And I'm gonna use one box of the cake mix I had in my pantry again. And I'm just gonna dunk that in. That's okay, we'll just take that out. There you go. <laughs> and we're gonna move that aside. And again, we're gonna just stir, keep on blending. I like to get those bananas a little creamier. And that's why I'm just gonna keep using my big fork here. Why not? Get that all nice and blended together. And look at that, oh, it smells so good. And what's so great about this, it is very easy. You can throw this together. You've got guests over or just craving banana muffins like I was this morning. It's so easy to put together. As long as you have those ingredients on your shelf, why not? I call it making something out of nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna add some already chopped, they call them chip pecans. And I like those because you don't have to do anything. And that's a third of a cup and just put that right in there if you like walnuts you could use that you could use a little mini chocolate chips but like i said i had this on hand and i'm going to switch to my spatula and get that all nice and folded in get it off the bottom okay i'm going to add a third of a cup of our banana muffin mix here and that's going to rise a little bit and while i'm filling a few of these up for you there's a story behind my pan. This was my grandmother's, and this has been in our family for a long time. So I know it looks a little old and a little bit worn, but it is, let me tell you, it's got memories with it. It's got a lot of love. I used to bake with my grandmother. She was a great baker from the South, Tennessee. And this pan, like I said, has a lot of love with it. And this is gonna go in the oven for 25 minutes on 350. I just took these out of the oven, 25 minutes, and look at that. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Okay, that's a little hot. We're gonna let those cool. And while they're cooling, we're gonna make some cream cheese frosting to go with that. Four cups of powdered sugar. That's four. Get that all down in there. Ooh, look how pretty that is and fluffy. A block of cream cheese, that's eight ounce. Woo! <laughs> and a stick of butter. Soften, of course. Put that in there. So I've gotten this down. I just whip this up with my mixer. And it comes together pretty quickly. I'm gonna add two teaspoons. Generous, because I love vanilla. I'm using a pure extract, and I'm going to mix that in, and just get it all blended, incorporated, and this is really good to use on cake, any kind of cupcake or your cake you're making. Simple, easy, quick cream cheese frosting. So I'm going to take some of our cream cheese and put them on our cooled little banana muffins. Look at that. And it can be rustic. doesn't have to be perfect. Look at that. And then I'm going to put them on a cute little platter. Okay, let's take a bite. Ooh, came right out. 